Hello, hello. My name is Brittany, and I'm so glad that you are here. This is my Animal Crossing YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of content related to Animal Crossing New Horizons, as well as some other games whenever I feel like it. I might post some Stardew Valley content, some Coral Island content, Disney Dreamlight Valley, just whatever whim that I hit if it's not Animal Crossing. I'm quite the Animal Crossing addict though. I've been playing since March of 2020 when the game initially released and have been building various different themes and I'm just excited about my new YouTube channel. This has been a long time coming. I've always wanted to start a gaming YouTube channel and share my builds and the way that my thought process works. I, I do have an Instagram already. My Instagram handle is the same as my YouTube channel, so Brittany.ACNH. I have posted lots of pictures there. My original theme that I started with was a forest core theme, and I have the video, or not the videos, but rather the pictures posted there on my Instagram for you to enjoy from that original island called Hodgepodge. This is my newest island, and its name is Patagonia. So Patagonia is a pastel kid core island. Pastel kid core is a theme that I've seen several pictures of before in the past, and I've always wanted to try it myself, but I started out with the neutral colors, so a lot of the greens and the browns, and that led me into a forest core natural island at first, which I really did enjoy and had a lot of fun building, but I wanted to be a little more adventurous. So there's a lot of very cute, different themed items in the game. And one thing that I've seen a lot that uses a lot of those items that I really was drawn to, but never got to use before in my natural core islands was Kid Core. And so I decided that I was gonna try my hand at Kid Core. Now, with that being said, I have never built an island that was set in cherry blossom season. So I thought to myself, I wanna incorporate that pastel -y pink. And so here's my pastel Kid Core Island. I just built that idea solely based off of my enjoyment of the cherry blossom trees. So really quickly, before we get into a build today, I would like to show you kind of what I've already done on the island so that you have a good idea of what Patagonia looks like in its state right now. So this is my entrance. I wanted to go with something a little simple because usually I do quite elaborate entrances and they're kind of hard to get around on. And I've always wanted to use this pergola, but of course on my natural islands, it did not fit into my theme at all. When I saw this pastel blue pergola, I just knew that I wanted it kind of towards my entrance because it's pretty and natural and fits into my theme and ties in the blue that otherwise is not really present in my entrance. I also really like to have my storage shed here as well as a DIY table so that I can quickly make anything that I might need for my builds and different things of that nature and so I've got a quick access area here to both of those items because those are items that I need quite frequently. Now over here to the left, this is one of the only, actually I believe it's the only villager yard that I have done already and this would be Sherb's house. Sherb is one of my very few villagers that I have right now that will be a permanent resident of Patagonia. I'm trying to build, of course, as you can tell from my different custom designs and the items that I'm using, I'm trying to build an island that's more pinks and pastel blues and yellows and things of that nature. And so I want my villagers to tie into that and Sherb is perfect for that color scheme. 
And so if we go up here above our entrance and then to the left, we have our resident services. And here's little Sherb sitting there with his cup. And I, he, of course, is going to stay. I love Sherb. And I've always wanted Sherb on one of my islands, but he never fit in. Now, Zucker, he has got to go. I did have Zucker on my very first island when I first started the game. And I do like Zucker, but he just doesn't fit in with my pastel kid core theme. Now, down here below Resident Services is actually the very first build that I did in the past pastel kid core theme and that would be this little playground area and I just really like this playground area and how it turned out and I feel like this is really where I drew the inspiration for pastel kid core because I was drawn to these items that are not necessarily like the primary color kid core but more of those muted and pastel colors that we don't see as frequently in kid core. And so then, as we leave our playground and we continue over to the left, this right here would be our community garden. And so, I saw Raven, Froggy Crossing's community garden, and it really did inspire me. And it was her original version of the community garden. And I really wanted to try my own hand at that. And so... This was the, the build that I came up with, and I really do enjoy it, and I got to use a lot of the plants that I don't get to typically use in the game. Now if we continue down this direction, this is just a little filler area. And so we have a little bench area, and we have our crosswalk sign here, and the little gumball machine. And then over here we have just a little bitty picnic and barbecue area. Now. What's playing on my stereo right now is not what I intend to keep. I am going to play Bubblegum KK, the classic kid core song over here. I just don't have it on hand, so I think this might be KK Polka. Don't help me do that. Um, but I just can't. I just haven't gotten KK Bubblegum, but I do not want Polka music here. Uh, I don't think it's very fitting. And so if we continue over this way, this is actually my own house. And this is the school area of my Kid Core Island. And I really, really like how it turned out. I, of course, wanted this outdoor seating area. And with Kid Core, you gotta use the froggy chair. When they added the froggy chair into the game, you just have to use it. And so I have this little locker area. And then over here is the teacher's desk, some miscellaneous things the teacher might be using. And then back here are a little experiment and different things. Then as you continue down this area, this is a little bitty like small garden that I started to build. But I actually think that I'm going to change this out to just be a regular garden with all the nice different vegetables and things that they added into the game because I'd like to have that area like that on my island somewhere and so I feel like this would be the most appropriate spot for that and so at some point I am planning on changing this back over into an actual garden with the different vegetables and things that were added in with the 2.0 update. Alright guys so today we're going to be looking at that little garden area that I mentioned earlier. I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way because it was driving me crazy the way that it looked. So I just went ahead and started cleaning up the area around. Um, of course kicking off paths as I go because that's the way Animal Crossing works. Um, so I'm picking up my items. Not That's not me. Definitely not me forgetting how to pick up an item there. <laughs> no, um, seriously uh, just picking up items and cleaning up and... There's Candy. I cannot stand Candy. I'm sorry if you like her. She's always constantly in my way. And she's actually appeared on two of my islands. And so she needs to go. This is me headed off to Harv's Island. I actually needed to pick up some different vegetables and things. And then of course Harriet had a new hairstyle. Which was ooh, one that I did not want to wear. And so I switched back to my original hair style and went about my day and so we went over to leaf and then we just talked to him and collected our vegetables 
Now, I already have some sugar cane that's growing on my island, so I'm still missing potatoes, and I will eventually add those in, but not at this point in time because I don't have those. So I'm just going in and adding in my vegetables, and I'm kind of spacing them out and trying to make it look nice, and then, of course, intermixing some different things as well, like bushes and flowers. So it's not just one monotonous group of just the same vegetables in a line. I kind of like to do intermixings and add in a little bit of spice here and there. And so here I am now going into Nook's Cranny to pick up a few things. I saw that I had that they had that ranch piece of furniture and I'm pretty sure I don't have it. So I went ahead and picked it up. I had to get a course of shovel because mine broke. And so, then I also picked up a watering can as well. And so, I'm headed back down now to my little garden area. And had to take the scenic route to get back to the sugar cane that I need to pick up from the ground. And so, of course, I'm going to pick those up. And take those where I need to take them. And then now we're back down at our little garden area adding in some more vegetables and different things as we go still intermixing them so that they don't look so monotonous uh i know that i'm trying to get stray away from that very natural look but i just i always want a functioning garden because you really never know when you'll need those vegetables and so I was going to look for, I, I bought that little watering can and I wanted to add it into my build. And so I was looking for something to set it on that I felt like was kind of kid core. And so I, I settled on that yellow bottle crate and I'm actually really happy that I did that. Um, Cause whenever I customized the watering can, which this is me going and getting my customization kits because I have none on hand. <laughs> Um, the colorful watering can has just the absolute perfect color option for my island. It's actually pastel pink, pastel blue, and yellow. And so it fits wonderfully in right there, nestled into my garden. And so now that I have my watering can in hand, I'm running back to my little garden. And then I'm going to add in, of course, some custom designs. You can't have too many custom designs and so I'm throwing those down as well as my items. I really do like this little area of my island. I know it wasn't a very large build to start out with, but I just wanted to throw in a smaller build to begin with to kind of get myself accustomed to editing and different things because this is my first video. So now I'm back. I'm getting some items because I decided with that little pond there that's beside of the garden area that I wanted to add in a little fishing area and so that's what I'm going back now and gathering items for. I wanted of course a fishing rod and then some chairs and different things for the fishermen to sit at and so I'm trying to find some good color options there to add in. Now thinking ahead this island I've really enjoyed so far working on it I would like to get this island done in the spring and the reason why I say that is I feel like this pastel kid core really fits in well with the spring and kind of an overarching goal for myself is I would like to because I'm starting here with kid core in the spring I would like to do a spring version of kid core which will be like the pastels that I'm doing right now and then I also would like to move on and do Kid Core in all the seasons. And so I would like to see Kid Core in summer. And that would entail using more of my uh, primary colors, the yellows, the reds, and the blues. And then from there going into a fall uh, Kid Core Island, which would use yellows and reds and oranges. I'd like to see more of that. And then not only that, I would also like to do winter version, which of course would play on Christmas and all the childhood memories that we have at Christmas time. And so I'd like to really do a Kid Core Island that incorporates 
my personal memories from childhood and the different seasons and so fishing was one thing that my family always did and so I wanted to add my little fishing area here just a little peaceful area that reminded me of my own childhood and the things that we liked to do as I was growing up and so I had this little area here down below the pond I wasn't sure what to add in, but when in doubt, add a bike. That's my new motto. So you'll see a lot of little cruiser bikes and different things sprinkled in. And so now I'm going back in and I'm adding some custom designs and various things that I feel like tie in the theme. So now I'm going to craft, actually I'm going to customize that colorful fishing rod that we talked about earlier because it has a perfect color option as well. And it'll fit perfectly in there with that pink, yellow, and blue again. And I just, I really love the way that it looks sitting there next to the pond, ready for when you're ready to come out and adventure and catch your fish. I also added in that little toolbox. And I really like the way that it looked. It's my little tackle box for my fishermen so that they can have their items right there where they need it. So we're just finishing up, adding some finishing touches. I added in that little garden wagon just to fill some empty space. Going back in with some custom designs and weeds and flowers. The things that typically fill up your ending areas of your build. And so I'm trying to figure out a way to fill in some empty spaces. I add in that flower... Um, garden area but I just really didn't like the way that it looked and then towards the end which you'll notice in my final clips when I show the build as a whole I remembered that fences exist because <laughs> for some reason I had not been using fences but where there's so many items in this game I just forget that some of them <laughs> exist from time to time and so I went back in and actually took that little flower garden out and added in um, some fences and I think that it looks a lot better with those fences. I was trying to make like a little diagonal looking path here and I wasn't sure how I felt about it so it might change but that's what you see me doing here is adding in kind of a diagonal looking path and then going back in and filling some of the empty spots. I added in that little cherry blossom leaf pile to cover up the fact that it's not actually a diagonal looking path <laughs> and so now I'm going back in with the flowers and I don't know about you but those yellow hyacinths are really starting to become my favorite flower on this island and I'm usually not much for yellow but that little pop of yellow is just speaking to me so I think that those yellow hyacinths, you might see those a lot more in my later builds. And so now I'm just adding up my finishing touches, going back in, making sure I'm happy with everything. I added in that little Cimarron parasol and actually wound up moving it. So. Alright guys, and so that would be our build for today. I just decided to go ahead and convert my little garden area back into one that used the in-game crops. And so now I have a little area where I can go and get any crops that I might need in order to cook some items and different things like that. I do not currently have any potatoes, but I think I'll just switch some of these in and out um, for potatoes whenever I can get my hands on those. I also added over here this little fishing pond. I don't know if I mentioned it previously in my video or not, but I'm trying to do no terraforming. I'm trying to use the natural island the way that it comes. And so this little pond was here whenever I first landed on Patagonia. And so therefore I'm trying to use it to um, Incorp to be incorporated into my build and so I decided to put the little fishing area there because I just thought it was cute and it gave me a chance to use 
the colorful fishing rod and different things that fit more into my theme. I also use this little toolbox here as kind of like the tackle box. There's not um, a tackle box item in the game that I like, so uh, I feel like this little pink toolbox does the job and looks sufficient enough to be a little tackle box. And so here's my little natural area over here with the little garden and then of course my little fishing area pond. Alright guys, that concludes today's video. I hope that you enjoyed our little intro to the channel as well as the little small speed build that we had. If you enjoyed what you saw and you would like to see more content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It would help my channel out. I am a new channel trying to get started and I would greatly appreciate each and every one of you that feels like they want to subscribe to the channel and join us for this journey on our pastel kid core island patagonia also feel free to follow me on instagram if you have not already i try to regularly post uh my builds on there as well and so you can see those images on my instagram Brittany.acnh. So once again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you later.